Week 2 of the operation has begun. You'll still be able to do Week 1 stuff, but can earn up to 6 more stars from doing some of the 6 new missions. None of these are required, you can max out your earned stars from the 2 3 star missions, or can avoid these by doing all of the others instead. It's sad there aren't any new co-op missions like Week 1's virus outbreak. I guess like previous operations, there will only be a few of these spread across the duration of the event. A lot of you complained about performance issues, which, sadly, I didn't have. But if you did, see if it's been solved with this update. Now that Valve has suspended several UI videos while in-game, which I assume were running in the background before, noticeably slowing down less powerful systems. Whereas before you could only deposit and retrieve items from storage containers one at a time, you can now do multiple at once, speeding the process up significantly. You'll still have to watch it deposit each item individually, but there's something quite satisfying about just sitting there while it does all the work for you. With the Halo collection coming to Steam, it's bizarre but understandable to see a new Halo sticker capsule for the game, all of the designs for which you can see here. One of these stands out, as being far more desirable than the others. Mr Chief is a character who appeared in the Bungie Weekly updates as far back as 2004, and has since become something of a dank meme. I'm sure he will become a must-have design for true fans of the game to sport on all of their weapons. Also, if owners of the Master Chief collection accrue sufficient playtime in the game, they'll get a Halo-themed music kit for CSGO. I don't know how much playtime is required to get this. Just go play your games until you get a pleasant surprise. And the community made maps have been changed. FM Pone has rolled out his visibility and readability patch for Cash to help make the new character models stand out better against the background. Here are how a few of the spots around the map have changed, so you can see how he's gone about improving visibility. It's generally about making the walls have larger, lighter shaded sections. You can see this most obviously on Truck, which will make snipers stood here looking into A stand out a lot better. A tree is missing in the distance at A as well, which I think is part of his ongoing effort to optimise this map's frame rates. And Studio has had its first big update. Parts of the map now have names, which will help people to learn callouts for it. Bombsite B has been squished, making it smaller and providing fewer camping spots. Bombsite A has had some cover removed, and the bomb's radius has been upped from 500 to 600, since you could easily survive the bomb blast, even from inside the site before. Unfortunately, I didn't see any changes when I tested it, so it could be that the wingman config, which is still set to 500, is still taking priority. You used to be able to stand in this corner, but it's been blocked up by a bush, which also serves to obstruct visibility across middle. Movement has been improved by removing plant pots, or even an entire car near T-Spawn, and several community reported bomb stuck spots and bugs have also been fixed. I don't think any of us were expecting a big change this week. That all came last week, and probably sometime in early December while I'm away again. Have fun!